In today's video, we are making my favorite steak dinner. I'm gonna show you how to make the filet and the sides. Let's go. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of More Seasoning. I am your host, Farnham, and today we're switching it up and we're taking it back. Back to my first upload ever. If you watch that video, I make salmon with some rice and veggies on the side. Basically, I gave you the whole spread for a dinner and I haven't really done that since. So it's something I wanna start incorporating more in my uploads and that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do a bomb filet with some beautiful veggies and some amazing garlic mash on the side. But before we get into that, I gotta talk about today's sponsor. And that is Misen. Listen, I'm always checking the comment section and one of the things I see most is what pots, what pans, what knives do we Use. Well, after months of testing, I can finally say that I stand behind Misen's products. They are premium quality, but they're affordable, which is super dope. Not only are these made with the same exact materials and built the same as the super expensive pans that I used to use, they're less than half the price, which is what kind of blew my mind. And they're like indestructible. I can put this in the oven up to 500 degrees. It's dishwasher safe and it works on an induction stove. Most companies that sell a 10 inch skillet like this, they're only giving you eight Eight inches on here, which is super frustrating, but Misen offers 19% more than leading competitors. Yo, can we cut the music real quick? I just need to tell you my absolute favorite thing about these pans is this handle. I have used so many pans where I hate the handle and the handles on these pans are amazing. We can bring the music back. If you want a real testament to how good these pans are, watch my videos over the last few months. Since I got them, they're all that I use and they're all that I'll continue to use. Hey, if you wanna get your hands on some Misen products, click the link in the description and use code MORE SEASONING for 20% off your first purchase. I guarantee it won't be your last. We got some steak to make, we got some veggies, we got some mash. I gotta ask you guys to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and drop a comment below and let me know if you wanna get some Misen. I'm gonna waste no more time, let's hit the B-roll. What's really dope is we're gonna make an entire dinner with sides and this is all the ingredients that we have. All you need is a steak of your choice. I'm using filet mignon, plenty of butter, russet potatoes, shallot, chives, garlic, lemon, heavy whipping cream, sour cream, medium cheddar cheese, fresh green beans. All right, now I'm in your face like pores and we're gonna start the prep work with one pound of russet potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and peel these completely because I'm putting them in a ricer and if there's skin on it, it will clog it. So what I'm gonna do is take a knife and cut off both ends of the potato then I'm gonna completely peel them with a peeler, cut them into one inch cubes and throw them into a pot of cold water. All right, next we got our green beans. This prep work, super easy. All we're gonna do is lay them out, put them in a straight line, then we're gonna cut the tips off both ends, scoop them up into a bowl. All right, next for our mashed potatoes, I'm gonna cut up some shallots and garlic. We'll start with the shallot, cut the top off, cut the butt off. We're gonna pull that outer skin off. Then we're gonna do some vertical lines, then hit it with some opposing, fine chop, scoop it up into the bowl. All right, next we got our garlic. First, we're gonna take about three cloves, we're gonna cut the butt off, give it a smash, then we're gonna fine chop, scoop it up into the bowl. All right, what I have right here is some garlic chive compound butter. This is fire to top on your steak, but I have some, so I'm not gonna remake it, but I'll show you how to do it in this clip right here. The first one, we're just gonna mix some butter with some minced garlic, a little bit of rosemary, some fresh chive, salt and pepper. All you're gonna do is throw it on some parchment paper, roll it into a log, tight on both sides, throw it into your freezer. All right, easy enough. Uh, basically, all we do is we cut a little coin off of this and then we're gonna put it on our steak right before we put it into the oven. All right, next we got our chives for our mashed potatoes. All we're gonna do with these is line them up, cut them in half a couple times, then we're just gonna hit them with a fine chop. Scoop them up into a bowl. All right, so the last bit of prep work that we have, I believe, is just we're gonna shred up about half a cup of this medium cheddar. Scoop it up into the bowl. So I'm a liar. We actually still have to zest this lemon and I forgot about it. So all we're gonna do is take a little bowl, we're gonna put our little micro plane or our zester on it and then we're just going to hit it with a little zest. All right, so the prep work's done. Y'all probably wondering, what about the steak? Well, all we're gonna do is salt and pepper this over at the stove, but all you need to worry about for now is you need to preheat your oven to 225 degrees because that is how we're gonna finish our steak off. Let's get to the stove. 
Come on. All right, here we are over at the stove and this is what your setup is gonna look like. All right, over here, I've got my oil, garlic, and shallot for our mash. Next to that, I've got my mise en nonstick pan. Next to that, I've got my mise en stainless steel pan that our steak is gonna go in. Next to that, I've got a deep stock pot with a steamer basket inside for our green beans and about one inch of water. Behind that, I've got my sauce pot with my potatoes and my water. And next to that, I've got my steak, my mashed potato fillings, and my green beans. All right, so first things first, the potatoes are going to take the longest since it's a cold water and we have to heat it up. So we're gonna turn that on high and we're gonna hit it with about three tablespoons of salt. All right, next, I've got my nonstick pan heated up on a medium heat and we're gonna go in with our shallot and we're gonna cook these until they are nice and translucent and aromatic. All right, we're just gonna cook these for about 60 seconds until they start to get nice and translucent. All right, after about 60 seconds, we're gonna bring this down to a low heat and then we're gonna go in with our garlic. We're only gonna cook this until it gets nice and aromatic. We do not want the garlic to burn. That is the rule of thumb for this. All right, it's been about one minute and we're gonna go ahead and just dump our garlic and our shallots in there. It is a little on the oily side, so I'm just gonna try to get as much of that oil out of there as I can. All right, so I've got my room temperature steak. I've got salt, I've got pepper. That is all you need. We're gonna cover each surface of this steak with salt and pepper until it's completely covered. Let's do it. All right, so once that potato water starts boiling, we're gonna take the lid off and we are just gonna let those cook for about seven or eight minutes or until fork tender. All right, my pan is ripping hot. I'm going in, steak down, let's get it. Turn that fan on too. All right, so after about one minute, we got this beautiful crust on here. I went ahead and flipped, so we're gonna give it about, I don't know, the 45 seconds on the other side. We're just looking for a nice crispy crust. All right, so it's been about another 45 seconds. We're gonna check the bottom. Beautiful crust. And now we just wanna go ahead and sear the outsides too because we want that to have some nice flavor. Give it about 15 seconds on this first side. All right, let's check that. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, we're gonna rotate. Hit the bottom. All right, let's check that. Nice, and we're just gonna hit that fat pad right there, and that's gonna do it. All right, another couple seconds. Cut that heat off, pull that steak up. That, ladies and gentlemen, is one beautiful piece of meat. Look at that. Okay, so this is a two-step process. Like, we've got our nice sear, we've got our crust, we've got all our flavor built on the outside. Now we're gonna slowly finish it and bring the inside up to temperature for a perfect medium rare. I'm shooting for 130, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. All right, if you've watched my Steak 101 video, you know what this is. This is my Bluetooth thermometer it's gonna tell me the temperature while it's in the oven all I'm gonna do is stick this into the steak and then I'm gonna slide it in program it to 130 all right steak is in the oven our potatoes are ready to be pulled out so we're gonna go ahead and put our green beans in our steamer for about seven minutes all right so we're gonna go ahead now that our potatoes are fork tender and we're just gonna pour 95% of that water out. All right, now I'm gonna walk you through this process. First, we're gonna take our potatoes, we're gonna put them into our ricer. We're gonna press those into a bowl. Immediately, we are going to add our cheese so it melts. Once we have all the potatoes in there, we're going to add half a stick of butter, all of our chives, add salt, pepper, and two tablespoons of sour cream, and a dash of heavy whipping cream. And then we're gonna mix all right, our green beans have been in for about, I'm not gonna lie, 10 minutes. I got a little carried away with the mashed potatoes, but we're gonna go ahead and just pull those out, put them into a bowl. Obviously, leave them in for less time if you like them crunchier, more time if you like them more well done. All right, so my beans are done. We're still waiting on the steak, and uh, I wanna keep these mashed potatoes nice and warm, make sure all that cheese and butter is perfectly melted. So I'm just throwing it back into the same pot that it was in. I poured all the water out, and then all I'm gonna do is put it on a warm, burner so I don't even have the heat on I just put it back on the burner that the beans were on because they just came off so to keep everything nice and warm for the next couple minutes all right do not forget your compound butter when you put it in here like I did so all we're gonna do is just pull that steak out compound butter right on top put it back in we're gonna let that finish. All right, so we got about four degrees left on our steak, which gives us just enough time to prep these beans out. Very simple. All we're gonna do is a nice, generous squeeze of lemon in here. Now those potatoes are gonna be savory and salty. So is the steak. So we want a vegetable that's gonna brighten and lift everything up. A few pinches of salt, some black pepper. We're just gonna toss it with our hands. They're clean, no big deal. Make sure we get that lemon juice all over everything. And then when I plate these in the B-roll, all I'm gonna do is stack them so they've got some nice volume, and then I'll finish it off with a little bit of the lemon zest. We got two degrees left. We have hit our 130. I'm gonna pull my steak out and I'm gonna let it sit for about five minutes. Then we're gonna cut into it. Let's pull it out and get to the B-roll. All
Ladies and gentlemen, it is the moment I have been waiting for, and I think it's the moment you've been waiting for. It is taste test time. We got our steak, we got our mash, we got our beans, and we got a celebrity taste tester back in the house. Introducing for the first time, my niece Sophia. Hi. All right, here we go. We're going to steak on three. One, two, three. Wow. Seasoners, when I tell you we do the steak right every single time, we do it right every single mm -hmm. time. It's so juicy, but like so much flavor. <clears throat> like I love flavorful, it's amazing. Is it, you get that nice crust on the outside, yes. right? And then the inside is just tender as ever, right? Oh yes, make this at home. It's That's so what... healthy, it's amazing, it tastes amazing. Your family will love it. They'll like congratulate you for your amazing job. Listen, I don't even gotta talk for this taste test. She's saying everything that I'm thinking right now. Okay, ready? In three, two, one. Oh my god. That lemon juice, mm. that lemon zest, it just brightens everything up. Yeah, like, like it I brings said. like a spark. Mmm, a spark. Ooh. Some so nice little good. bite in those beans, a little crunchy, right? Mm, They're not overdone. Yeah. They're not mushy. On three. Ready? Oh. One, two, three. Oh, come on. It's so good. Oh my god, it's like so smooth and creamy. It's just like mm. Yo, these are the best mashed potatoes. Mm. Okay, so I'll be real. I always experiment with my mashed potatoes. I put different stuff in them all the time. You can tweak it however you want. This is the best mash that I have ever made. This oh is my God. so damn good. It is so good. Oh yeah. Okay, so I was a little concerned. The shallots got brown and crispy in the oil, but oh my God, they taste so good in this. So what we do on the show here is we do a star scale. It's one through five stars. One star means you throw up in your mouth. Five stars means that you love this, you would order it at a restaurant, and there's nothing you would do to change it. Do not feel obligated to say five. You say whatever you say for this dinner. So on a scale of one to five, what are you giving this? Hmm, to be real, I five. Oh, come on, like this is so good, come it's on. so good. First time on the show and it's a five? Are you serious? Like it's healthy, it's amazing, it's so good. Like If you had to use one word to describe this meal, what would it be? Scrumptious. Ooh, the scrumptious, ah! Ladies and gents, you know me. If I make it, it is a five star recipe here on More Seasoning. We got our garlic chive, crusted steak, our lemon zest, green beans, and our, I don't even know what to call these mashed potatoes other than the best mashed potatoes that I have ever made. Super simple, 11 ingredients. You can scale this up or down however you need and you can feed your family easily. Hey, great job and uh, we'll get you on another episode. And there you have it, what might be the easiest dinner but tastes like the most advanced dinner ever. The beans, the mash, the steak, it's everything you need and I guarantee your family will love you for making this. Hey, before we get out of here, if you're still watching, make sure you scroll down, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and make sure you drop a comment below and let me know if you're gonna use promo code more seasoning for 20% off your first purchase at Mizen. I'm telling you, the pans, the pots, the knives, the cutting mats they got it all they got you covered my name is Farnham this is more seasoning I love y'all we out